that for you? That was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> How did that feel? It felt really good. Just being able to match up with another top 20 team in the nation and being able to go out and have a dominant win like that. So credit to the defense, credit to the guys around me. It was a really fun win tonight. Did you guys feel like you settled into the offense real quick? Yeah, and it started with Coach Riles. I mean, he took he's, – he's hard on himself, and he, he took the blame. He said, you know, we got to be more aggressive this week. And he came out firing. Um, so he did a really good job with the play call and, and, and the game plan this week. Um, so just being able to go out there and play freely and, and being able to get after those guys early I think really helped us tonight. How challenging is it on the defense when you're standing between DJ and – Dylan in that backfield? Um, I mean, I, I, I just wouldn't want to be on the other side of it. Um, DJ always makes the first guy miss. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to run guys over, run through you. Dylan, I mean, he's the same way. You, I mean, he's quick, he stops his feet, gets you to stop your feet, and then it just gets going right again. So just being able to have uh, all three of us with that offensive line, you know, blocking for us each snap, I mean, it, it makes it hard on defenses. How big was that fourth down conversion on that first drive to kind of get things rolling in the right direction? I think it got us, it really got us going. And credit to Coach Kleiman for having trust in me and the offense to be able to go out there and say, hey, like, this, we know what type of game this is going to be. Um, we got to convert right here. Um, and then just being able, it was a weird position for me. I've never done a quarterback sneak. I haven't done a quarterback sneak since high school. And I kind of just put my, uh, put my shoulder pads down and I just kind of got lifted. I just felt like I got lifted up. Uh, but I, it played a big role. And it was a long drive, a grinder. But I think it really got us going. Hey, what was the message after the, the first half, the way that it ended? Coach told us that he said it wasn't your fault, but you're the quarterback. You're the one who, who stayed in bounds. What was your message to your team, and how did you guys respond? Yeah, and I mean, uh, I love Coach, and he can try to take the blame for that. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I got to know the play clock and um, know the type of situation so that we still get three points at the end of the half. Um, I looked up at the play clock, and the, the clock was rolling. When I looked at it, it said 20 seconds, and – um, I was like, man, there's no way I can waste 20 seconds on the play. And whenever I ran out of bounds, I was walking, and I was like, okay, we're about to kick it. And I look up at the clock, and it was at zero. So, I mean, I'm hard on myself, but it was kind of, I was kind of in the situation where I was like, okay, we kind of got to get through it. Um, Coach Strew came up to me and was like, hey, everybody feeds off your energy in here, so you can't be down. We're, we're winning this game. You guys get the ball to come out in the second half. So um, just kind of had to encourage those guys, let them know. I mean, hey, I got to be better here, but we still had another half of football to play. You guys responded well. What did you feel like you learned about the offense and the team as a whole from the way this game ended? I feel like the best part we did tonight is we just didn't let up. Um, we had a lead, and when we got that lead, we kept it all night. So credit to our defense for, for playing really well tonight and getting us the ball back um, and, and making some critical stops and some critical times. And then, um, I mean, we just continued to be explosive, and, and we converted better on third down tonight, and that was a big, big part of our game plan this week. Thank your, you. your coach said leading up to this game that he's excited because you're starting to progress every play, every week. How comfortable are you right now? Uh, I, f I feel really good. I'm really starting to settle in um, and getting a lot more confident in, in our offense. And uh, the best the best type of reps are live reps. So it, it, I wish I could – like our coach, our coach uh, Riles says all the time, like Rome wasn't built overnight. So um, I really wish I could I could be playing my top best football right now, but it's just going to take some time. Uh, and just all coach asks for me is to get 1% better each week, and I feel like I've continued to grow as the week's gone on. So I'm just going to continue to find um, little little ways in my game to improve each week so that I can be a better quarterback each time I take the field. So the tight ends now your go-to in the red zone? <laughs> uh, Braden Lofton and, and, and Swanee, man, they've been stepping up for me um, in, in the red zone. And uh, we have some, some really good good plays down in there for those guys to, to get them open. Um, but, you know, those guys, always they, they, they showed up week in and week out in that, in that red zone. Um, so, I mean, I love those guys. They work hard. They deserve it. How much through your first two years? I think you had five design runs. Did you kind of know tonight you were going to let it rip? Yeah, I mean, um, the game plan definitely definitely said that, and there was a lot more read game we had going into this week. And, um, I mean, I had a, a couple of scrambles tonight, but as far as uh, they, they were taking on the, all my reads, they were taking the running back, and it was just getting me out in space and, and kind of just trying to be explosive with the ball after that. How, How much proud are you when you look down the stat sheet and see you rush for 100 yards? I mean, that was my, that was my first time rushing for 100 yards in college, and – um, I mean, I just got to give all the cre credit to the offensive line, credit to DJ and, and Dylan, because those guys take a lot of the eyes off of me. Um, you have to, you have to respect what they do with the football in their hands. Um, so I never really know how teams are going to play us. It's, it's, it's kind of like pick your poison. Um, take either take me away or take DJ away. And Arizona take, chose to take the running back away tonight, and it was just you know uh, my job to make him pay for that.
Big win. How do you guys stay focused on next week, conference opener against BYU? The biggest thing is we just we got to stay focused and we got to have another great week of practice. What led to our success tonight is how well we, we practiced throughout the week and um, how, we, how well we prepared um, all the way from when the when two-lane game ended all the way up to, to the snap tonight. So got to continue to prepare at the highest level. Um, and, and just execute whenever we, we do step on that field. Thanks. How much confidence does the defense's play give you guys? Uh, you know, when, when Keenan gets the interception and you know they hold them to seven points in the first half. I mean, I, I didn't see it live, but I saw the playback, and it was a it was a great play he made on that football. Um, but that's just credit to Keenan and the work he put in in the off season. Um, he's, he he'll make that play uh, again for us when, as the season goes on. But it was. It was really good for us because the momentum shifted, um, the, the bill erupted, our fans got behind us, and it was just kind of us. Uh, it was up to us to go from there. If well, Keenan had made that pick on you, what would your reaction have been? Hey, I got to tip my hat to that guy because, um, to, to, from my from from my view of it, he undercut it um, and, and just made a great play. And Keenan's got speed, so um, he made up or he made up some ground on on that throw. And, and made a great play after it. So, um, I mean, if, if, that was, if I was in uh, their quarterback position, I kind of just got to tip my hat at that guy because it was a great play. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Sam.